the Atlas, and we welcome you to Vegas, where they do it bigger and better than any other city when it comes to the big time fights. We're at the Thomas and Mack Center for our main event of the evening. Want to see some head movement out the there. opening bell of this scheduled 12 rounder here, a much anticipated fight. Round one underway. Teddy, what do you think we're going to see out of Jones? I think you're going to see what you always see. You know, you're going to see a guy that breaks the rule book as far as the way you're supposed to go about technically approaching pugilism. But I think you're going to see speed. You're going to see power, great reflexes, great sense of anticipation, and you're going to see a little cockiness. Well, Teddy, here in this matchup, two guys who tend to go the distance. What do we look for early? You know, I'm looking... Wow, impactful short hook got to him that time. That's not going to be easy to survive. Right on the mark with the hook up top. Jones is oh, cut around ahead. his eye, and you know his corner's got to get to work on that as soon as they get back. In and out! In and out! Now he's backing his man up against the ropes. His opponent wanted the body, and now you see him scoring well with the right. Oh, he's hurt right there. He is hurt. No, in this kind of situation, it's kind of like a wounded animal. Yeah, you can go after him, but you better be careful because he'll strike out when you don't expect it. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Nice work, the left hand to the head. Got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Vinny Paz. Unbelievable pace here tonight. Both guys have no plans of having this fight go far. I'm sure the frame of reference for most Keep is Hatler distance. Hurts. Yeah, Looking you good. wonder if it's gonna live up to that. So far, so good. There's a straight right hand. Listen, everybody likes to see a great knockout shot to the chin. But truth be told, at this stage of a fight, the foundation for winning comes by going downstairs. It's just like the old timers would say, Joe, you kill the body, the head will follow. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Good smooth work by Vinny Paz. That's classic counterpunching. Yeah, what he did was he pulled that right shoulder back. You know, he just pulled it back, gave him the left shoulder, and then gave him the right hand. Last 10 seconds of this first round. A huge right hand from Roy Jones Jr. Round comes to an end here. Glad you've joined us ringside. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas on another night at the fights. We're with you all year long, every step of the way, as is our crew. And the guys just don't get enough credit sitting back there in the production truck, but they make all this happen, Teddy. Yeah, they do, of course. Rick, Robbie, Mike, all you guys, Brian, Scott, Russ. We appreciate you doing all the difficult work while we get a chance to sit out here and uh, enjoy the fun part. And by the way, you guys, after we just said that, you guys are picking up the tab tonight. Good way to protect the midsection. Roy Jones Jr. is out there just waiting on a counter punch, isn't he? Yeah, well, first of all, why is he? Because he knows if he walks in, he's going to get caught. So what he wants to do is he knows there's basically a guard hey, at that door. He's trying to get that guard to get out of there so he could go through that door. Solid left hand from Roy. Just Get misses with that headshot. Paz's punches are way off the mark.
He's been committed to throwing plenty of them. He just hasn't been committed to hitting plenty of the target. No, and it's not like his opponent suddenly became the invisible man. I mean, he's right there in front of him. It's just that he's tired, and these punches are coming from left field, and guess what? They're not getting to the plate. Stop energy from both guys in this round. The final minute is here. Hit the body. <laughs> Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Jump on. Nice. Has is showing you a little defensive skill there. I will move away from that punch. Combo. Combo. Good job protecting himself. Jones is in a good rhythm defensively here. Teddy, what is that, a credit to his ability to anticipate? You know, also, it's the teaching. Let's give the trainers credit. Of course, let's give his background of the amateurs credit, but he learned how to get away from punches. This is technique that was taught to him. Use the ring! Comes right back with a shot of his own. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. See, that's what you want from his left hand. That's exactly what it should be doing, that left hand by Roy Jones. And that's the end of round two. Roy Jones Jr.'s performance tonight has to please all of his backers. He has been scoring from the outside. That was the game plan coming in. He understood from the beginning that he had that great wingspan, that great advantage of length, and he's using it. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Unable to score with the hook. Jump on him. Nice. Over your head, kid. How about that exchange? He just missed that shot up top. He's showing what a guilt fighter he is with the counter punching. Well, the old times used to say when you calm in there, when you're in control in there, you can make him do what you want. He made him tie his shoelaces right there. One, two, one. Two. Has has been hurt by that Let shot. It Lay it on. Kenny, explain this to me. Hey, this fighter was just staggered and stunned. Now all of a sudden he's defending beautifully. Yeah, because he's on instincts now. Before he was thinking, he was overthinking. That happens out in life in a lot of places. And now he's not. Now just naturally, instinctively, survival mode is there. He's doing all the things, Joe, that he was taught in the gym. Things he couldn't do before because he was worried about doing them. He had too many things clogging his head. Has is cracked by a right hand. Solid. Targeting that head and landing with a bomb. up from the knockdown, but what we really want to look for is how he reacts in the coming moments of this fight. Able to dismiss that body shot. Able to cover up that gut. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. And now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. Good block by Roy Jones. Oh, what an exchange. Jones' ability to just get to his opponent before his opponent gets to him. Showcase there, his hand speed is very good. Yeah, it is, Joe, you know. Has his banged up. There it is! Oh, and now the real test. Can he get up after going down a second time? Continue. 
This fight is over. Knockout. Wow, the theater of the unexpected. Who would have ever expected that? Roy Jones Jr.'s one single lightning bolt of a punch ends this night early. And it came right out of the skies, and it came right in the position where his opponent never saw it. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great night.